Battle Network 1 highlights. Now out. Now out. <clears throat> Enjoy those. Came out thing. about uh, 10 minutes or so. We had fun with that game. We've had fun with this series. I think these are some of, are some of our better... Uh, it's got a bad shit story. It does, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to make fun of, and that's usually a good uh, good candidate for streaming. It's good humor. Uh, yeah. It's good gesture. Joshing. Oh. What's what's going on? You're getting a... Oh, that's right. We get we get in a medal for We're saving the world a bunch of times. Finally. And then a hospital. I'm a little jealous you got an award like that. Yeah, I... Why is there a body pillow of me in your room? We, uh, Guy. we, we may have found a picture. Guy. Guy, this is creepy. You gotta stop. You were, uh... <laughs> I, this I is found inappropriate. Out, I found out why you were suddenly talking about Yai and Lan. Yeah, the I was previous just stream. perusing the internet. Oh, hello. Anubis. You're just randomly selling that, huh? Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, it's 80,000, though. Oh, we we really have 30,000. Shit. Well, darn. Got more of the those chips. Oh no, those are different versions. These are I think these are the weaker versions. We got the stronger ones from the uh, the number machine. Also something new in this game. Chip. You, can, you can buy anything. Oh, anything you already have. Anything except you for... found, you can you can buy more of through special order. Except for certain ones. I except think. for certain ones. Buy more roll chips? Yeah, sure. Not like it's gonna be useful for anything. Get more roll, get more yeah, let's stock up on five metal men's. We can start a met we can start a metal band. Yep, the metal men. Oh and there's chip trader, but fuck that. I wonder if the Megas have done anything since that one album. I haven't checked. They do like a Mega Man 3 album or something. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Kind of embarrassing to get accommodation. I guess we're going to. I assume we're going to Scilab. I don't remember. Yeah, I said the accommodations at Scilab. What uh, the fuck? Hello! It's Gordon Freeman. My name is Lan. Thank you for your help the other day. What did who, who, he do? Uh, we were looking for a super skilled programmer, and we happened to stumble upon a super skilled programmer. Oh, yeah, go. Thanks to you, I could help a lot the of people. Theoretical programmer Gordon Freeman. Yeah. You work here at Scilab? I just came by to check some things out. I thought you might know my father. Do I look like a site? Yeah. When you worked on the press data, you had an amazing programming technique. I used to do some programming when I was young. Mainly I'm a theoretical physicist. Tell me your name. I don't even know what your name is. It's not, not important. <laughs> First name not, last name important. Uh oh. What is important is what I'm about to do. I just fucking hate this world and all the vile maggots feasting on its carcass. This is a day of judgment. Okay, I don't know what your reference is. Is this still Half-Life? Hatred. Oh. No. Oh, it's just right here in this this laboratory. There's Not no like use a... cameras, there's... For outstanding service to our community and saving numerous lives... By, by defending the hospital... He looks like he should be a Star Trek character. Yeah, that's this what I was NPC. He looks like, uh, he looks like a Vulcan, but without the pointed ears. Yeah. Well done, son! Uh, we received a phone call from the hospital. The boy who's undergoing surgery is recovering well. He wants you to pay him a visit. Great news! I'm proud of you, lad. Don't, Don't make, make your father worry. Oh, uh, you make me worry. You're lucky to have such a brave boy. And, and this guy just looks like the the tuning exams. The the sick fella. Yeah. The uh, I, 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 one who fucking dies. Did he die during the attack? I think he did. Didn't he get killed by Sand Ninja guy? Oh. I who thought... also didn't proceed to do anything after that point. What a fucking waste of two characters. Yeah. You're yeah. the hero of ACDC. A hero? Yeah. Off to the hospital. I'm a hero. Yeah. It only took three. Skilled programmer with blonde hair, glasses, and a beard. Oh, you must be talking about theoretical Phys physicist Gordon Freeman. Of course. Who else could it be? You it can't could, mean. It no, could. it couldn't be. 
You get on home. I have a big meeting to go to. Oh, he said... <laughs> Stay out of trouble, okay? I have to plan my defenses. My evil scientist lab defenses. Oh, God. This, this guy is like a vigilante hacker. He's come to deal with the threat of Hikari Sr. <laughs> vigilante. Oh, he's with DeadSec. Yeah. He's not He's not on the Scilab side or the w, WWW side. He, oh, yeah, they're both evil. Yeah, DeadSec is... Are, the, are like... Did you hear that? I'm the hero. That makes me all pumped up. Something's gonna happen, isn't it? I feel like I could take on the world. Uh, hey, it's that guy. It's that man. Oh, uh, wait, that's a different match. Hey, did someone say my name? Who dares address me that way? It's Mr. Match. Hey, it's Mr. Match. Oh, it's, oh, it's you. you. Long oh. time no see, kid. We, we've mentioned before, he was Scottish as shit in the dub of the anime. Just what are you doing? Hey, now calm down. Which neither of us can I really do Scottish, to... so I did the next best thing and went pirate. Oh, oh? Oh, sorry, no, he's, he's hippie in this version. I'm a model citizen now, man! I'm gonna have Scilab help me out. Help you out, Scilab. I'm gonna work there after leaving the WWW. I changed my ways big time. Okay, here's how this plot's gonna go. Yeah. Something's gonna happen to Scilab, Match is gonna get blamed, it turns out it's really Gordon Freeman. Yeah. We did, Match appeared just briefly, he was just hanging out in the airport last game. You could have a friendly fight with him. Yeah. I'm speaking from my heart, check out these eyes. Here. The flame of justice burns bright in my pupils. Yeah, you got the ex with that expression on your face. It was like, uh, what, what was the Venture villain that, that Charles likes? Dr. Baruki or something? I think. We got him, we got Dr. Venture, and now we got this guy. It's just sinister beard men. I guess more, uh, it's more Monarch. He's a little bit Monarch looking. Yeah, I'm He's Monarch, Monarch, but with better hair. Yeah, he's with Monarch, but with longer hair. Better hair. Well, well he's got, like, that, that suave up top. Remember? Something's going down in Yoka 2. Uh, when's season, when's the next season of Adventure Brothers? It's 2020. Has not been announced. Fuck. No news. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're gonna fight in Yoka 2, I guess. I hope they don't go too deep into, like, homeless vigilante Batman Hank. That sounds really stupid. <laughs> That's the. <dead. laughs> I mean. Yeah? Yeah, I guess. Where am I going? There is no fucking info. Nope. As soon as soon as there is info, I'll let you know about it. There's none. Please. <laughs> Talking about. Uh, I just wanted. I just want my Venture Brothers back. Talking about American Adult Animation on the Discord a couple days ago. Yeah. One of the gur guru had not seen any American Dad. Which, <laughs> if nothing else, oh fuck, I went the wrong way. I uh, I realize why I like American Dad more than Family Guy because after season one of American Dad, which uh, it they just decided, hey, let's just get really fucking weird with it. Yeah. And that's why I think you have like. Just... And also, the only character that really gets shit on is Stan, and he always deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless... Yeah, you're right about that. As opposed to Family Guy, where everyone... Well, not necessarily everyone, but... It's just every... A lot of characters are just the butt of jokes, and it's just everyone's mean to them. Mostly Meg, but not just Meg. Yeah, and... It's weird that... Uh -huh, American... Chris is the idiot. Look how idiot he is. He's... Because he's an idiot. Good job, idiot. It's like, uh... I was considering getting, uh, WarioWare on the 3DS not too long ago. WarioWare Gold. I really don't like how, how in the WarioWare 
Like, Wario kind of had a personality in, in the platforming games, and then in WarioWare, he's just... Three. Fat jokes. That's all. He's yeah. fat and gross, and he's one-dimensional. That's the whole character of Wario. <laughs> yeah, and he, they also had the gall to, like, not even give him his regular costume in the Smash games at first. Yeah. Well, he he always had it, but it was it was an all. Oh, god damn it! He, oh yeah, that's right. We got it. I would I, love for this just to be something we unlock and we just have it. Oh damn! And it. we don't have to program it. That I have the I have the you have, saved. Okay, good. We still can't rotate pink, can we? No, no. we can't. We can't until later. Oh, I didn't hit the thing. And if only this game took a keyboard. That'd be cool. More games need keyboards. Pokemon post game coming eventually. I I asked I asked Gleam and uh, Guru, and that is all the post game is just catching the dog. There is yeah. nothing beyond that. Well, we don't have to get to the post game. Then we can just wait for the DLC to catch the dog. I, I guess we get for we're gonna do the DLC. I don't know. If you don't want to, that's fine. But, I mean, it's not like thirty bucks for both of them. Yeah, it's not bad. It's better than like buying a whole other game. In my opinion, like obviously, in pre in previous like Pokemon games, there's been like that amount plus. A lot of post game for the base price of the game is all. Yeah. Well, I mean, the post game also includes you just fight, like fighting tournaments and catching level sixty of everything else. That was also in the base game in previous generations. Yeah. You'd better be careful. Wand around alone, and a W W W Navi will delete you. Yeah. Guillotine. It goes, it goes, it goes. Alright, what are we going? Squiscar covers death grips. It goes as it goes as it goes as. Yeah. Can't run. We have to fight him. I know. I'm, I'm, I don't know how this ship works, so I guess let's find out. Oh, cool. It just stays there and it and attacks on command. Ooh. Does it block my shots? It no. does not. It's not bad, actually. Night. Now will this uh, delete it? It's interesting. I don't think I've ever actually used that chip before. It'd come in handy against small viruses. Yeah. Oh, hey, we, you did it. There's more, though. There's more? God damn it. Yeah. Imagine you're just traversing and you're like, uh oh, there's a. There's a impassable area. I better fucking get out my hacking tools. I wonder if uh, any fans have translated the, uh, there was a Japanese remake of the first game that I think had a lot of quality of life improvements. Oh, uh... And it was also crossed over with Mega Man Star Force somehow? Oh, you sent, sent uh, something back to the bat. Oh, I'm super evil, nasty. I have no idea how that goes. I mean, the idea of, uh... You got twins. What do those do again? I. God damn it! They just breathe fire. Okay. Oh, that's right. We can uh, walk on ice. And they heal. They heal you? Yeah. Cool. Two for the price of one. Uh, oh, we can finally do the thing. We haven't gotten to do the thing yet. Okay, do the thing.
Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I beat him. Good job, Mega Man! It's from Mr. Match. It says, Now the WWW's terrorizing the beach area. Hurry! Oh, man. All I can do is direct you, but I'm rooting for you! He really has changed. I hope you're right. <sighs> I remember this chapter and it's not the most exciting in the game. Yeah, well, that's fine. I'm not... I'm the most low energy I've been in a while, so... Let's let it wash over us. I mean, even before I saw the picture, the signs were there with her just in the second game just randomly coming on the land. Just because of the bath scene is yeah, all. Yeah, that was... Well, I mean... Was there, was there more instances than that? I don't know, like... seen the final episode of season 7 15 times, but today I thought of something new. Hank's progression of the episode leads to an interesting outcome if we look at everything figuratively. Okay, would, would you just suddenly go on the King of the Hill Reddit or something? Not King of the Hill? Is that what, what no. else are we talking Venture about? Venture Brothers! Oh, okay. Go on. Uh, this is far from a TQT, she says, uh, at Reddit r slash venture brothers uh he wakes up in the form of some coma purgatory and is greeted by action man they are captured by the wampa from empire strikes back and rescued by phage who leads the Mumatmos. hank dives in to move on and he an adult hank, yeah let's look at this from a uh, from a figurative standpoint hank is in a place of turmoil in his life and he's a choose direction coma and subsequent choices he's greeted by his past Action Man representing the Venture Dynasty. He's captured by the Womp along with the Action Man, and he realizes he doesn't possess the capabilities to battle his issues on his own. His character grows over the seasons. He is rescued by the villain Phage, who proceeds to show him a path to the future and the truth. Scare Bear shows him Serena and Dean, and Hank confronts his issues by diving headfirst into them to give him and giving a new future a chance to form. Okay. What does this mean for Hank? Is he being to pulled towards villainy or towards heroics? I Personally, I think this is all leading towards him creating something new and unique. Perhaps a neutral organization that does whatever it feels is right. We think moral mercenaries. Oh, okay. okay. I think the brothers being pitted against each other is a red herring and meant to throw viewers off the scent. Maybe Dermot is the good guy, Dean is the villain, and Hank is neutral. However, it's important to point out that Matmos is described as liquid energy powered by evil thoughts. So it's entirely possible that it really is, is all just a progression to becoming a villain. Yeah. Sounds good. Or, or it's just silly venture cartoon. I don't know. It, like we say, you say that about everything, but I don't know. That's that's very reaching. All of that. People think quick and they think deep. Yeah. Wandering around looking for bad navvies. And he's there. Yeah. 
How much long? How much longer is this uh, section of the game? Uh I, 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 I think I don't remember. Okay. Hello. I know where a WWW Navi is. Closer than you think. That's a fire. Hey, it's score buddy. It is. I just can't really uh, do a whole lot with it. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm familiar with crinkle memes as well. People have always been, like, hating the Star Wars prequels, and now there's blowback where their people are thinking, wait, were they actually really that bad? Only because there's now people think there's something worse to compare them to. Yeah, the sequels. Yeah. Uh... Three of them here. I've only watched like the first movie, the sequel trilogy, then I'm, and I was kind of underwhelmed. So I just, <laughs> I just not, I didn't, I didn't think they were bad. I just was like, well, this is uh, sure is a movie. There's something I would describe the, the first, uh, like. Uh, Force Awakens, I would describe it as a bit unambitious. Yeah. To say what you will about the prequels, at least it wasn't like the same movie as like the first, uh, the episode one wasn't the same movie as uh, episode four. Yeah. And uh, episode seven felt like a similar movie to episode four. I haven't seen any of them, so I shouldn't really talk. The impression I've gotten from people is that they're very, uh, they're very flashy, show, showy movies without really episode, focusing on storytelling. Yeah, episode four, it had, a, it had a basic story, but it had, like, some funny moments to it, and, you know, it, the thing is, is that Star Wars is, is a, is like, a weird, like, pulpy space western. Yeah. That's, that's, it kind of, a, that what separates it from, uh... From the nice, uh, glamorous, uh, like, like uh, optimistic Star Trek future. It's, it's funny because you got you got Star Trek being all, uh, all we can we can do this. Our is our destiny to learn and grow as humans and expand into the stars above. Whereas Star Wars is like we gotta get that evil empire. We did it! Looks like they're coming out into the open now. Uh-oh, what's going on? Now they're in Psylab! Shit! Also, lots of cute things to sell in, 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 the, in the new post-Disney Star Wars. Gotta introduce, uh, gotta introduce Pogs. BB gotta have Baby Yoda. BB-8. Dio. You didn't see you that. thought it was R2-D2. But it was me, too. <laughs> and then the guy on Twitter who saw that, it was like, What have you done? You invited them. You fools. And yeah, the musical genre is called Jizz. It's very popular in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, you know, he didn't know that, that that would become slang for what it became. I think, I think it existed before Star Wars. Well, that just means that George Lucas is a pure soul. Eh, he, he doesn't know things. 
I, I, I didn't know about this this Jojo meme. What, what is it? What is a Jojo? He did okay. He wasn't. He did. That wasn't his fault. Dio was not his fault. He was. He was not doing the franchise at that point. Though something I will say is that uh, that Rogue One was pretty cool. I want you to call the apprentice Darth Nasty. It's a good name for him. Yeah. It, George Lucas is a kid at heart, I feel. Then again, yeah. he did do American Graffiti, so I don't know. Oops. Oh! They you, can't both be there at the same time. You just, you just whiffed it. I guess I cannot light a bomb with the totem. Well, that kind of sucks. Also, with as much setup as the fountain ship ship takes, I thought it was gonna come out of like every hole on the on the arena. Nope, no, just, it's just the one. Just the one you're closest to. Weird how we have all the, those both those chips and we only got the combination once so far. Yeah. Just unlucky. <laughs> so he killed me with he killed him with the bomb. Got so he just exploded. So he blew him up. No, he threw the bomb at him and it destroyed him. Gotta get them bug frags. Maybe we should go to the hospital. Oh, can we do that? I think so. Anytime. I don't know. I also wonder when we're gonna get the the job that lets us get the www code for those doors. Uh. I think Mr. Match will give it to us. Hey, I mean, hey, here, here's this. No, it's a, it's a, it's a bulletin board job. Oh, I'm pretty darn scary. I like how they make him look different enough now. As the evil navvies? Yeah. As opposed to just purple. Yeah. Healing, like, chip. That also, only the tip of the iceberg. New assassins. They're slow, but they're good chips. They hit in a row. Yeah. He was pretty tough. I wonder what the W was up to. Mega Man behind you. Nani? Three of us combined won't fall so easily. In the condition you're in. No. Can't believe it takes three of you to battle a little kid. The WWW ain't what it used to be. Who's there? Allow us. We're former Monster Match and Flame Man. You defect, you traitor. What if I am? Brutal. Brutal. Seriously. I'm on- I'm on fire! I'm burning, uh... That's a brutal way to die. Then again, we were just doing the same thing. I can't wait for him to go... <laughs> okay, good! <laughs> nice to meet you. Arr! Looks like you're really on our side, Mr. Match. You still doubted me? Your Navi is powerful. I have an expert customizer. It's all in thermal power. I'm just happy that we're friends. Come to ACDC. I'm in front of the bulletin board. Anonymous mail. Sounds, Sounds shady. It's an assassination attempt. Good luck. Yeah, but still. That's what my heart's telling me. Wrong. Help with rehab. Rehab? You won't be battling me. I just want to watch you battle, so I think this... Oh, that kind of rehab. Not like, hey, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a detox I... facility. I... Yeah. I think this is the... This is a good reward one. Okay. I mean, we could look it up, but... You got your phone? Yeah. 
No, I was just making up that one uh, Avenger Brothers post from the top of my head. I remember this one being a pretty tough uh, gauntlet of fights, but with a good reward. Well, we'll find out. Hospital TV. Customizer, Peace, Humor, and uh, WWWID. Okay, so two good things. Oh, we can't escape this one. Well, good luck. Ow. Alright, and Black Bomber Bomb. Bam bamboo Sword, sorry. Bomber man. Can he can he be a can he be a net navy? Bomber man. We had bomb man. Did you, did you uh, ever hear about Bomber Man Act Zero? I have. I maybe. What is it? Uh, it's that one uh, darker and edgier reboot that they tried to push. I think so. Yeah, the one. Was it like realistic looking? Yeah, it's like the robots look dolly. It's dark. Uh, Mac, Matt Mc, Mc, McMuscles uh, did a uh, ha what happened on it. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Oh. Uh oh. Well, uh, you know what? That's fine. It's kind of actually not that potent on his own. Uh oh. Shit. I think this is just phase one, though. Dan killed him. Yep, phase one. Viney Omega. Uh, I think fire chips will hit it, even just the body. Yeah, okay, that's good. Punch vine, break floor. Oh, that didn't work. It's uh, the world's gonna target the. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm not sure about. Come on, roll, please. Damn it. moves. All the Omega viruses. Uh, we got any wood? We don't really have any wood. We have the bamboo sword, but we don't. That didn't do shit. Oh, uh, that kind of worked. So deliver a few solid hits. There you go. Oh, fuck. Got any fire? Oh, I got that. Fortunately, we can hit through shields. Yeah, the water. Oh! No, he can't spawn because the mask is in the way. Yeah, oh. so... Water the plants! Oh, no. 
Oh, they drowned. You fight well! I think maybe I even underestimated you. So what's humor do? Uh, not really valuable, except I think there's... There might be something like... I think there's like another job it's, it's useful for is the only useful thing. Alright. It, I'll tell you exactly what it does. It replaces when you press L to talk to Lan or Mega Man with bad jokes. <laughs> but, and when we're not equipping it now, why? What's the... Do you have the, the compression codes? I can grab it. Oh, that's already pretty small. We can slot it somewhere. Hold Stall on. and try L button. Why do we have... We don't need that equipped anymore. Alright. Uh, compression codes. Let's see. If I can find... Here we go. Look, go down. Okay, you ready? Uh... Okay, ready. All right. Up, R, A, left, right, right. There you go. We have now a single dimension of humor. You can tell jokes. It's gonna be awesome. Change, sneak run. I think we are gonna need that later. Are we gonna get a bigger gauge soon, or is this as big as Hopefully. it's gonna get? Hopefully, that'd be nice. Man, going through this is like a pre-flight checklist. Yeah. Just... I think we're using the one that gives us an extra... Mega chip? I think you're right. Which means if we ever don't input it, then we have to change our folder, because the folder's not right. <laughs> Actually, this is a good time All to right. get that. Give uh, me a joke. I was chatting with a masher the other day. You mean the virus that looks like a mushroom? Aren't they dangerous? Normally, <laughs> he was a pretty fun guy. <laughs> it's really spore taste. That's, that's what it does. Does it change it for every, uh, different... Her guy's house was burglarized. Didn't they lock the door? Yeah, but somehow, it got somebody got intruder window. <laughs> Can't wait to forget about it. We need help, and then we just tell a joke. <laughs> Do it, uh, Japanese style with a guy sitting down with a fan. Yeah, that is uh, what the, what they're doing. They're doing Japanese style, like. What's the Earth say? It's her. Uh, uh, oh, he's asleep. Wikipedia article listed it as like an extremely Japanese culture show, which it really is. Yeah. Like, if you want an anime that you learn about Japanese culture and folklore, that's that's the one to go for. Yep. Except for you know the oni being aliens. There actually are non-alien oni that appear as well. They look at mom and like, what the fuck are you? And she looks at them and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what are we doing? ACDC? Oh, uh, we can't just... ask him anymore. <laughs> Did you hear about the ice offline origami store? No, what happened? It folded. One more like that and I'm pulling out your batteries. I can't believe we installed the humor subroutine. That's right, we're going to we're going to thank Mr. Match in person. So uh so you know the movie uh Interstellar, right? Yeah. Uh it had robots in, in, in that movie. And uh and they had humor subroutines. They were like AI that like talked like humans and like acted kinda like like humans. And uh Yeah. And they had like joke subroutines. And they like Modified them on the fly. It was pretty weird. The whole movie was weird. He like met. He like talked to his. He left his daughter when she was a kid, and then he met her again when she was an old woman. He only aged like a year. Yeah, I, I remember Dude. that being like the plot of the movie. Yeah, just 
<laughs> Relativity, man. He met her while she was on her deathbed as, as an old woman. That was... I, we're gonna have to take humor out. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Would you... Humor at 100%. Like, if at each tone it down to a 30%. Oh, that's right. The Royal Rumble's tonight. I don't want... I remember, isn't that WWE? Yeah, I remember when that when WWE didn't totally be a joyless watching experience. Right, we'll take humor out then if you if you don't know where you're going. Heard there was another incident on the internet. Ar okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save, I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna reset. So you can keep humor? And so I don't have to input the code again. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta go to the bulletin board at, uh... At Beach? Is that it? At Lab. Or... ACDC Square. Bulletin board. All right. So I, I remembered ACDC. Yep, you were right. Where's... Huh. Who is the shortcut to ACDC Square? Is it Mail? There's Mail at Beach Square. No, Dex has ACDC. Dex is, uh... Dex moved away, though. God damn it! Yeah. I liked two better when we had all the shortcuts in front of our house, in front of our computer. Well, you know what? It's a shame that they keep reformatting the internet. Yeah. Is that why they removed Dex's, uh, so that you, you have to get there to trigger a flag, you can't get there through other means? That'd be annoying. That's why Dex had to leave. The only game I can think of that makes traveling too convenient is Maple Story. Because now they got, like, uh, they got free taxis and warps to every, every single map, and it kind of takes away the, the fun of going from place to place. But, but Skyrim, though... Yeah? Why can't we escape from anything? Do we suck that much? Uh... Yeah, these are all, like, weak enemies. What the fuck? Oh, you're back here now. I guess I'll just walk. Oh. Where, where's the WW door? Right outside. What a ballsy move, putting one of these right in front of Land's place. What the fuck? Hold on. Uh... Apparently Kobe Bryant died. Yeah. You knew that? Yeah, it's all over the all over the internet. Jeez. We need unlockers. Does this creepy guy outside sell unlockers? Wait. We need lockers? Unlockers, the oh. subchip. Sell you some sub chips. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe ACDC Square. Isn't that where we're going? Yeah. We we'll just have to come back here at some point. Can't run. Okay. Can't we're strong run. enough to run from Metours, but not. I, maybe because we're Aqua, it didn't let us run from the electric ones? Oh, like type disadvantage? You're pretty strong for a jerk. Okay. Thanks. Must have beaten you. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Why are you angry at me? I don't know. Just, you don't even, like, like explode, but you just brain him with it. 
It's like smacking someone with a gun. Are you, you the, the one, one who sent me that mail? Thank you for coming. Watch you at the N1 Grand Prix. You were most impressive. As I suspected, this Navi has amazing potential. I expect E could even handle. Do you know an individual at Scilab by the name of Match? You mean Mr. Match? I don't know why I get like Q vibes. Like, d like 007 Q. <laughs> you should be wary of him. He has the scent of danger about him. The what? what what's a scent? I'm a program. I'm this sure we'll no, meet again in the near future. This is hyper reality. It's like a sub reality. It's a separate reality that. I don't know who that was. He seemed far more suspicious than Mr. Match. He's mended his oh, ways. Oh, please don't let Mr. Match just go, hey, I'm heel turning now. Oh, now we're supposed to go to the hospital. Yeah. Well, he was asleep. Do I want to use my no. extra folder? No. Got unlockers. God no, damn it. Right here. Where the fuck do they sell unlockers? I miss Dex. We all do. Dex was cool. The final, the final arc of Yu Hawk Show needed more cool Bara. Didn't have enough. Well, didn't have any cool demon, Bara. No. He wasn't even a half. He wasn't even a part demon like Yusuke apparently was. At least we got like the, uh, we got the OVA that. Like Kuwabara went to join the second tournament. I want him to win. I want I want this human psychic to be running Demon World. Yeah. I remember when apparently uh what was it like uh oh, God. EA and that one lady like Yeah. Got, what, that was Akuro? Yeah, that was like Yeah, they hooked up. That was surprising. I didn't think he would be the type to hook up with anybody. Yeah, y'all get to unlock us. Hey! Yay. How many can we buy? Four. Oh, five. Six? six? I'm gonna have six. I don't know how many we can carry, but I'm gonna have six. I'm sure there's gonna be at least that many from here until there's the end of the post-game. There's only gonna be one more, and then the game's gonna end, and you'll have five useless unlockers. Need to buy unlockers for fucking data. That's dumb. At least money isn't finite. Yeah, you can always. Pokemon. Oh, Too bad you can't sell chips. Be nice if you could. Yeah. You know what? Money's not even finite in Sword Shield. You can get like tons of goodies just doing that. No, I just only in Gen One was it ever finite. If you do, if you do uh, max raid battles, that's a good way to get like a bunch of swag. Like you get like uh, you get like TRs doing that. You get like cash. Panic. At the disco. I don't want all the people ever heard of. Closing the goddamn door. Well, that's useless, but at least uh, it's, it's, I think that's the only place to get that chip, so at least we'll have it in the library. I'm not gonna pay. Hey, Panic at the Disco, how I many you do a cover of Panic? <laughs> From Yu-Gi-Oh. they did that? They would just uh, take two partners and just merge them together and just do a musical interlude? Yeah. Hey! They only did that the one time, but it was very jarring. They did that twice. When was the other time? I want to say the insect duel, but but that but we may have been watching a different version. I don't know. I I really <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah. See, uh, <laughs> I would say that four kids' magnum opus was actually you. You know, despite them butchering the hell out of it. Yeah. If well, because that was still that was still funny bad, whereas One Piece just kind of was insulting. That was kind of hard to watch, I imagine. And uh, Pokemon. That would feel because Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have a whole lot more potential than 
Four Kids gave it. Even the premise was already silly. Four Kids was the right level of dub act actor for that anime. Whereas, it, in like, One Piece, you'd watch the Four Kids version and it would just feel like wasted potential. They should cut this tree down right now! No. This tree is dangerous. No, sir. Technology is dangerous. That's nonsense. We can cut off. We can cut off parts of the tree, right? And we can use it to harvest spirit energy. We can monetize this. By the way, uh, something I just considered. Uh, uh what would a Funimation uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh be like? Not a whole lot different. I, I, it may be better acting, less censored, but still, it'd may still be Yu-Gi-Oh. The one-liners would probably be consistently more be better. Oh. Uh, Vegeta as Kaiba. What was the show that really crammed unnecessary one-liners into everything? Besides Yu-Gi-Oh and Dragon Ball Z? There was one that was really egregious about it. Is it another card game anime? I don't remember. It was think... one. It was a Saturday morning cartoon anime. And it would, the, the dialogue was, everyone would talk really, really, really fast so they could fit in really unnecessary one-liners. Oh, did you, Mon? That was it. <laughs> we, we commented on that watching it. I've been feeling much better lately. Glad you are, kid. Tuxedo mask stinger. The doctors told me I'll be able to go home soon. Oh, that's great. So, it's all, all thanks, thanks to you, and... This, this is what happened after uh, Galaxia took his star seed. <laughs> he was able to survive without a star seed? That's pretty hardcore. This is to say thanks for what you did for me. Hospital code. Oh, so now, now we can get past that one cube. Momoru looked like he was doing well. I like how we're very invested in this. In, in this game? Is he a friend? Our hero oh, yeah. is busy, I see. Hey, what's up? Why are you here? What are you doing here? I have a small favor. I was told to install a program in the Scilab system, but I don't know how to do it. Can you help? Shouldn't you do this job by yourself? You like being appreciated, blah blah blah. Alright, fine. Meet me in the virus lab. He just played you. What? I'm not gonna let him talk smack. Is, is this gonna end with our arrest? Land Hikari, hero, has been arrested for... Is there a quick way to get to the beach net? I guess not really. No. I want to check something while we're here. Fukuya! Fuck you! I've just gone off to Hades, don't mind me. Why are we going back here? We're... To jack into a statue, of course. Why else? See, there are arbitrary demon comp. There are jack-in locations that completely arbitrarily are not available until a flag in the story that has that nothing is, to do with them. That is, oh, weapons level up. I wanted to come here and see if there was, like, good stuff we could find like that. Yeah, like that. Flash, flash. I'm, I'm a, lighthouse. a lighthouse program. Boats come close, I guide them using a light. It's a li Apparently this is actually a lighthouse this entire time. Of course. That's how that works. But there's... What the? Huh. Is the back door? Wait, who the fuck is that? Up there. So, uh, this is the undernet. Wait, it this looks is like a VHS tape. This is a back door to the undernet? I trade... That's the other bug frag trader. The like up. Wood up. Cust... Full cust... Godstone? Summons a godstone. It's fake stone, man. Careful. Sharp. Drop me. No, no, you can keep it. You can keep it. Uh... I remember folder back can be useful. It's also a giga chip. 
That's that's the oh, pink one. Oh, you can ones. only have one of those. You can only have one giga chip. Oh. We got five mega chips and one giga chip. Dude, you know. I think what? I'm gonna save up for folder back. Sure. Sounds good. Can we can we get any like uh, special virus? You know what? I think we'll have access to this soon anyway. So. The lighthouse has a fucking back door to the undernet for some weird fucking reason. Just to give this island more, like, uh, replay value. There's no reason to come back here. Buy a ticket. Buy a ticket to a midnight train going anywhere. Apparently there's a, uh, a Battle Network fanfic that is, like, re really comparatively well-known and fleshed out. Oh, you're doing the fanfic of the day this time. I, I haven't I haven't wa read it. I, I just... It had a lot of Google results. Oh, what's it called? Oh, I, I want to... I think Mega Man Battle Network Legacy. Okay. And it was, like, uh, 25 years or something after the end of Battle Network 6. Oh, so that's uh, yeah. after... Uh... Lan and Mail are married. They yep. have a they have a son named Patch. <laughs> Patch, I like. Okay. Hello. Huh? Uh, indeed. Excuse me. Who are you? Oh! You I stepped too much. What a waste. It can heal. Ah! Yeah, face hug. You have to get it all in one shot. Come closer, please. Interesting. It's weird that it's unnamed. Oh, is this another back door? How much oil should I put in? How long have you been standing there? Bath oils? What are those? It's not a real hot spring. Where does this go? Oh! Not the internet, this is... Where are we? This is Yoka. This is the platform that every other time we'd come to the other way, it wouldn't make us big again. So oh. we'd be small on talking to this guy. No one As a matter of fact... I've come over from Swapopolis to be a comedian. Swapopolis? I'm in a slump. Is that Canada? That's where, uh, Tora is from, wherever that is. Tora, Swapopolis. Oh, like, Taiwan. Oh, so Hong Kong. Sure, that's where they, it's all the trading posts, where all the cheap shit's made. Different from Yumland. Can you tell me a good joke? Mega Man, this Navi needs our help! Me? That worked. Yeah. I got my muse back. We got team one. Oh, well, okay. What's that? Team one is powers up when ally is hit. What? What? Can I, maybe we can only use it in combination with a team two chip? What? Okay. It's extremely situational sounding. So when we talked to that guy when he's small, called Mr. Oh, Quiz. Oh, okay, quiz sure. I'm totally into quizzes. Want to try your luck? Sure, what's a quiz? How many holes are in ACDC's Park's Hole Mountain? Oh, whoops. I want to say four. Alright, it's three. Sorry. What's on the left screen in the virus lab? How many drawings are on the wall outside? I don't know. Nope. Eleven. Ooh. I like how we're just blowing off Mr. Match. Just... I had to take quizzes, man! I'm in school, don't you know? How much is a cup of coffee at the beach? Too much. How many toy pandas are there in the zoo raffle ticket booth? Oh, I don't... I have no fucking idea. It's probably one. 
It's probably just the one. I did. We're just trying to go down to three. <laughs> did you really just... That's I'm... really not... That's gonna be more harm than good. Oh, it's okay, it's three. I'm, I'm mashing the button to get through the dialogue, because it has to it has to scroll across the screen. Good. I do, we did it! Right, All right. Up, three. I'm still pretty low on the totem pole. Go Try find the other quiz the other... givers. They, they have the big brains. I want to say the second guy looks like a scientist, but I don't remember where he's at. Oh, okay. I think there are four of them total. If yeah, there are three. Uh, we're going to Scilab. Unguarded government laboratory. Yep. Look, the condor hasn't come back. Where the hell is it? <laughs> oh shit, a wild bird is. Did you look at the other jobs? Hold on. Let me grab it. It's, uh, we did rehab. I want to see the one, t the two below that. I'm, I'm. Really want to get spin pink soon. Well, hold on. So what were we looking for? Condor. The yeah, Condor. And the one before Condor. Condor is sub memory. Okay, somebody hey, please help. One? Anti recovery B. Bah. Okay. There you are. Let's get right to work. Take this to the program in Scilab 1. Oh, you, you want to do a catching gang member as one when you get a chance. What, is that one of the ones we have available to it, us? Uh, it makes your Navi customizer bigger if you do that. So. I think we did that one already. Oh, did we? Okay. Well, that's weird. Because that, uh... we already have one one size increase. Unless maybe it's not available yet. I'll uh, I'll check after this. Yeah. If it is available, you should try and do it. Jobs aren't. There are cut. It's the same as all as the side quest jobs in every game. Paper Mario did it too. There's only a couple with really good rewards. Yeah, you think that you kind of got to pick them out. Yeah. It's... I didn't do anything to help during the attack. install this data in me. Yeah. Spread them. Nobody told me about this. Well, if a Scilab person Is says I need it, I really must need turn it. need it. heal? Darn it. What's this burning sensation? He's right there. Catching gang members. Oh, he did. Okay. Well, no, he didn't. Yeah, 
So, I guess it's just not available yet. Well, once it's available, you want to do that. Thanks a lot. Now for the vending machine. That's hot! Must be for making hot drinks! What are... Now for the next one! Now is your dad's research lab! Aw, oh, man! This is very suspicious. What are you talking about? We're doing God's work, Jack. I can't believe we've done this. What could you possibly want at such a busy time? You're giving me this data. Maybe this will ease my fatigue. This... That's the last of them. You've been great. We got lava stage. That'd be great if we had a fire navy. Time to begin. Oh my god. He didn't. You must have been bored with nobody around guarding the, you know, sensitive government equipment. Knock, knock. Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the... Joke was bad, but that was a great she Sao impersonation. <laughs> What's the problem? What do you get when you divide the circumference of a jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? That's easy. Pumpkin pie! <laughs> So are we going home then, or...? I, I guess. Maybe we should Can't ask. install humor. Yeah. What if it's we haven't heard all the jokes? Go Goethe was a German poet who only wrote just after waking. He went from bed to verse. <laughs> he went from bed to verse. Yep. We're having pork chops. Why don't you go finish your homework? By the time. Sigh the fuck. Don't you think it's unusually hot today? What in the... This vending machine's burning hot. Yep, oh, guess what? Heat Man was actually evil. Yeah, vending machines can do that. The ones that make coffee, yeah, they'll, they'll turn into flamethrowers with the right software. They so disable the cooling system, which is important on computers this, this big. Scilab's gonna be destroyed. It's no use. Let's get out of here. The room is over 120 degrees. Evidence some data's been altered. This is no mere computer malfunction. Someone's actually sabotaged the system. You yeah. mean someone got through our security to do this? Who could it be? This was a calculated assault. I've got to retrieve the backup data. 
the Scilab is destroyed, all of Electopia will be in chaos. I'm a scientist too, I'm what? not leaving. We have to stick together, us scientists. Can we last as long as it takes to get the backup data? We'll help too. That, that's not necessarily how computers work, but okay. Sure. We'll do it. Emergency news flash. Oh no, land! What, is something wrong? A fire has occurred at Scilab. At present, the fire is localized. Internal temperature is 160 degrees and rising. Ten scientists have been hospitalized. This has to be some kind of mistake. Dad did this! Why would he? That's not his M.O. His M.O. is to set fire to the fucking... But whose M.O. would that be? Is that a little early to go to bed? Oh, hey. A repeat. I read that flowers were preserved in King Tut's tomb. What kind? Chrysanthemummies! <laughs> they stopped the pharaoh virus. Yeah. Hey, Mom, you want to hear a joke? What did the man selling blind deer tell his customers? I have, I have no idea! Oh, you've heard that one. Heard what one? <laughs> We're gonna set the building on fire. We're gonna set the Weren't building- Weren't you at Scilab recently, Lan? Is this gonna end with him being accused of setting fire to the fucking- Is it gonna end up in jail? Yeah, that'd be great. From hero to zero. That's the, that's the next chapter. Lan breaks out of jail. Where's my dad? He's still in his lab. Why is anyone- we want to, but it's too too hot to even send a rescue team inside. Phone call. How's, How's the Scilab? Is it hot enough for ya? You've been on. lying all along about having changed your evil ways. The previous game was a lie! You were a big help. Thanks to you, my operation went perfectly. I couldn't have. I never helped the WWW. You're the reason why Scilab is facing this crisis. Let your hate flare up. <laughs> I'd never dreamed you'd be so gullible. Because I told them to. It's also the most successful WWW scheme so far. Yeah. You just need to, like, let, let the guy try twice. That's all it takes. Up for it. Would you like to play a game, oh, Lan? What? I'll send Flame Man to set the whole internet ablaze. If you can put out all the fires, I'll let you fight Flame Man. So you remember the last game, the Freeze Man arc? Yeah. With the ice all over the internet? Oh no. We'll set the internet on fire. Do we have anything we can use to put out the flames? Damn it. Giant fires swept through the internet, causing internet. extreme damage. Imagine going on to like Reddit and you just see just digital flames just all over the place. Like uh like a fucking angel fire website. <laughs> The Angel Fire Virus. What, what were the other popular web hosts in the in the 90s, 2000s? GeoCities. GeoCities was one. Uh, that that's it. It's Angel Fire and GeoCities. You know what? I'm gonna log in before we I do anything else so we can end this fucking music. Yeah. We'll go in. It's just same music. Nope. <laughs> Oh good, we do have it in. So we have energy change. Do we have fish? We do have fish. Yeah, fish. Got fish? We can get rid of that. Don't need yeah. humor no more. This is a ser this is serious. We need to be serious. Very serious. Fish. Do we need 
weapon can we use weapon attack up or that's uh, not really any help can't you just throw okay that won't help oh my I'm trying to see if there's any way we can get an extra thing in and there's there's really not extra charge, I guess. There you go. Alright, then run the code. I don't think it, like, adds extra aqua viruses to the internet during this either, so we're just gonna have to, like, stock up. Good luck! Just like like freeze man, we were just kind of getting through to the other side. Oh, good. We we at least have uh, we have lots of bubblers. Yeah, bubblers are useless. So many heat shots. Get rid of these heat shots. You gotta trade them in for, uh... Just so they're not clogging up, uh... Good panic reaction. Yep. Ah, what, ah. To, what to do in an emergency situation? <laughs> oh, Lincoln, aren't we supposed to be... They're in the way, Mega Man. Firebomb, that's cool. Shotgun. No, wait, I no, I don't want to do that. You know what, that's, that's fine. Well... I want to make it so that the, the chip that has the most is going to be uh, the, the aqua ones. Yeah. So you don't, like, accidentally create more... My, My net, watch just, net watch just got incredibly hot! That, that's a, that sounds like a hardware issue, like your battery needs to be changed. Those lithium ions, they explode violently. Oh no, they've taken over the town's speaker system. They're just playing annoying music on Endless Loop forever. King Ramses! The man and gods, the man and gods. The man and gods, the man and gods. Put up four fires. I think sometimes we'll find uh, like bubblers and chips in the fires. Be nice if that were to happen. Cool. Gotta get them bug frags while we're at it. What? We need to. enough. So we gotta go through a, just this section? Just this part of the internet? Or no. The entire internet? The entire internet. So Every single map. <laughs> this game, this game really is... Bubble side. Okay. Um, 
on the plus side, I, we would have had to do this to get check for all the all the doors anyway. So we're at least now that we have the WWW ID, we're gonna get like cool stuff behind the doors. I guess, yeah. Sides. It's a virus. No. Nope. Oh, the, the one that we can't run from for some reason. Good. It must be because we're Aqua. Yeah. I don't know exactly the factoring system for this game. I know in two it was our uh, our level with power ups and HP ups. Wait, can we just buy oh. a whole bunch? Flashman. Oh, I haven't run. seen you in a bit. <laughs> Random, randomly, Flashman just shows up. Damn it! You... Oh, you're Aqua as well. You're everything's gonna hit harder. Yeah. Ow. Wait. B C D. Hey, come here. Come closer. Come to this front row. I'm going to fuck you. It's, it's, there we go! Not gonna do quite as much, but uh, there we go. If there's just one panel for it to hit, it'll just keep hitting them on the same one. So it's kind of like a mini gator. Uh, well, we got level two flat. You better heal. Fifty HP. Ah, oh, fuck it. We're never gonna use those. Randomly Flashman just came back and is like, I'm assisting now. WWW forever. 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 Hold on. Wait a minute. You know what? Why don't you just buy... I guess that was just a waste of money if you buy more bubblers for this uh, section of the game. Yes, we can. I you said I said be a waste of money. You like You sell bubblers... Hey. Yes, you do. Oh, I'll speak. One. Oh, it's just the one. <laughs> Damn. I mean, we always buy them from Higsby. I don't know how much those are. I know Yoka has a bunch of aqua viruses. World War WWW forever. Actually, made, we made that joke in the highlights video. It's worth it. Did we really? Yeah. Did you find the video and add, like edit it in or? No, it's on the it's on like the channel in the, in the favorites. Okay. The playlist of things we reference. Forever. Forever. Self bubbler chips. No, HP no. memory. No. Just HP memory. This combined with the the waterworks scheme from the first game. Oh no! Someone has bought all the aqua chips on the internet. Step cross is so useful. 
They can't be, yeah. They just need to... You might have to jack out and just buy bubblers from Pigsby. Yeah. Just don't want to have to walk back here again. Yeah. To your... You talk about that as if you seem like... You think you have a choice. Who are you? Oh, I guess it's nobody. She was, uh, she was related to a job. Oh. Uh. I mean, do other folders have, uh... Have, like, water chips you can, like, use? Good thinking. Uh, we got yes, some ice, ice waves. Wa uh, are ice waves useful for anything? Not really. Oh, wait, we got... Uh, Aqua, Aqua Sword. sword. Oh, we can't modify that one, though. Oh. Oh, does a folder have to have... Has to have 30. Shit. Has many bombs. Get a sword in there. There you go. Alright! Need to do that. Just gotta investigate the fair. <laughs> Bubble slide. Cool. You ever have a slip and slide as a kid? I played on a slip and slide once. Those existed for a time. Yeah, that people realized it'd be cheaper to just grab some tarp and wet that down. We do we miss we missed one somewhere. How do you know? Because, uh, he tells you when you've gotten all the fires in an area of the internet. Oh. Well, shit. We're gonna have to go back in anyway. Higsby! This is a matter of a- this is an emergency. It's life and death. I need bubblers. Wait, why you need bubblers? Why? Uh, don't- don't- Don't quest ask questions! Are they gonna be really fucking expensive? Well, you know, there's a high demand. 10,000 for a bubbler! Oh, jeez. Uh, 500. Can I buy in bulk, please? Uh, no. The uh, regulations. So... I think we're... Is that... Oh, that's, uh, that's all we can buy. We're we at, can buy no more bubblers. Because we're at nine, probably. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna go through ACDC again, and then I'm gonna go to Yoka next. Because that, that is gonna be a place to stock up on aquas. Alright. This fucking music. There are a couple things I think the second game had over this one. M mostly improvements, but, uh... The hub in front of Land's area was nice. Better emergency music. Yeah. This game has a, has a bit of ups and downs.
running around hunting down stuff and a maze is like the peak of gameplay. It is. There's nothing better than just. Than I've just never had to come back. Wandering. I've never had to come back a second time before. There we go. I, I, just, I just missed that somehow. You've extinguished all the fires in ACDC. Uh, who's, who's it, Yoka? That's, I think, Mail. Mail, what are you do doing in this time of crisis? Why is my computer so hot? The internet's covered in flames. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Mail. That, as, as we all know, internet viruses affect the cooling system. I guess, I guess that could conceivably be true. There was a there was a story about a hacker who uh, who hacked into a person's uh, fans to like blow it, and then he fried the dude's uh, motherboard. Yeah, doing that or some shit. But so yeah, theoretically it could happen. What are those notes are in the background if you if one was to play them? With uh, those notes? Yeah, the music notes. Probably just decoration. I, I would think. It is HP memory. Cool. Oh, I wonder what they are. They. It just seems like. It seems like it looks like white noise to me. I'm sure it's a. I, I'm sure it's a song. It's a sequence of notes. Huh. It's Moonlight Sonata. I I'll, I bet you anything. It's Moonlight Sonata. Huh? All right, fish, go to. Oh, we need we need press for this area. Fuck. <sighs> Energy change. Fish. I'd have to get rid of undersheet. Undershirt, whatever. This is incredibly tedious. <laughs> this is. I'm not gonna defend it. Please, yeah, please don't even. Just, uh, I'm just trying to see how long this section lasts. A while. The whole internet is how long it lasts. This is gonna be one of those things we're gonna have to have something else to talk about besides bitching about the game. Okay. Uh, let me, let me see if I can dig up something funny. Aquas. Trump. Th th oh, what? Uh. It's just in. White is changing its name to better account for its position on the color pie. On the color what? Color pie. You know the the five colors of Magic: The Gathering. 
Oh, okay. They're not calling white white anymore? Part. Uh, I think that's just like, uh. Innocent search turned out to be porn. R slash ask reddit. Boobies. I just wanted to see some birds, man. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if you're British, that's the same thing. CBT. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh. CBT. Yeah. Other one. It's even worse when your therapist fixes them up. Back in the wild west of the net, anybody who try used .com instead of .gov when trying to get to the White House's official website would find a hardcore porn site. So they, that was intentional, obviously. <laughs> Probably. Hey, look, free porn! Googling my real name just out of curiosity and discovering I share it with a porn actress. Yeah? There you go. Uh... When I was about 10 and playing Morrowind for the first time, I wanted to find some high-level armor at a low level, so I googled Ebony. I saw a lot of things. My Chinese teaching assistant wanted to get pictures for the next PowerPoint about kids' clothing. She tried to Google and search teen models. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I worked for IT in schools, once had a report that the web filter had let something nasty through. To be honest, it was a shitty RM web filter that was out of our control, so not much I could do about it in that instance. Young child that searched for Little Red Riding Hood. Needless to say, what resulted included a non-traditional version. Yeah? On a network of the real web filter, I had a very, very naive religious student studies teacher who berated me for the system constantly blocking her searches. Finally got to the bottom of what... Exactly, she was searching for after much probing because she was hesitant to tell me. Turns out she was looking for a new job and was considering working abroad in the third world and didn't want her employers to know. Yes, she was searching for missionary positions. Oh. <laughs> now that one has to be a joke, right? That I Maybe. I wish I was making it up given that there are people supposed to be highly educated people. That sounded like that had to be too- that was too much of like a setup and a punchline. <laughs> that was a joke that would be in this game if it were a little older. If they- if they were in high school, yeah. they'd, they'd be coming up with that shit. Uh... School research project in grade 5. Google. Google images. Construction. Road construction. Construction workers. Manholes. Safe search on! Manholes! Hey, right, cool, you got it. Oh, that's not what we need. My retired dad thought he would do some substitute teaching. Classroom management was a problem. He had no idea how to deal with unruly students. So, on a school computer, hit Google up for some ideas on teen discipline. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Male chicks. I was probably 50. That was- this was probably 15 years ago in class. I was looking for roosters and instead got pictures of guys in their underwear. Well, they were wearing underwear then, huh? Yeah, male chicks. I get When I was a dumb kid in the mid-90s, the computer clock was wrong on the classroom computer. The World Wide Web, as everyone seemed to call it at the time, was very new to me. But I knew you could find this stuff out. But what website would be on? My dumb little- my dumb fuck little British brain decided BigBin.com was a good idea. My first introduction to gay porn. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Well, I remember my awakening too. Responded another poster. All right, this I think this one's run its course. It's it's mostly the same shit. All right. Uh. Hey, 
bad memories of this area. Fucking, no shit. Fucking bubble man. Just, it's like, welcome to, uh, welcome to Australia 2020 simulator. You'll get it. Okay. I say that because Australia's literally on fire right oh. now. I, I just, well, this area specifically because it's this bubble man. Yeah. Like, the whole internet's on fire, not this area specifically. house rule you had as a kid that you thought- no, that's not- that seems pretty depressing. That you thought was stupid? That you thought was normal, but turned out that it wasn't completely normal. You want- you want to go down that, uh- no, I, I don't- I don't care. Okay. I- I was discouraged from watching Cartoon Network, but- like, really young, but I usually did anyway. Yeah. Uh, That's not that abnormal. My neighbors weren't allowed to Pokemon because Satan. Uh, I don't, I don't really have any myself. Hey, cool. Double free bubbler, maybe. Yep. My mom used to pay me to be my own babysitter between the ages of 10 to 14 or so. The rule was that as long as I didn't make a mess I'd, and I'd put myself to bed by the time she got home, I got $10 in the morning. Yeah? That's actually... That's pretty good, actually. Then oh, you no, can one, just... no one paid me to be home alone between 10 and 14. Yeah. That... When I was really young, I had a night-night bell. This is a soul play bell that I hung in the kitchen. When I had to go to bed, I got to ring the bell, and everybody would come and say goodnight, and then I would go to bed. R weird little ritual in our house. Yeah. Huh? That's cute. My family had a thing we called the food blanket. When we food eat blanket. When we eat casual meals, we'd lay it on a blanket on the living room floor and eat on it, like a picnic. My parents didn't want to get food on the carpet. Instead of set the table, my mom would say, go lay out the blanket. I remember being really confused when I learned every family didn't have a food blanket. Yeah? Uh, I don't want to- I don't want to go down further because I don't want to read out, like, really horrible story. I want to find- what's a funny- can look up that Mega Man fan fiction. Oh, which one was that? Mega Man Legacy? Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll give it a... I assume it's on fanfiction.net. I just I wonder how long it is. Fan-made fictional storyline within the Mega Man Battle Network universe that takes place between 13 and 25 AE after Expo at Battle Network 6. So th this is a 12-year story. It's a part of the fan-made EXE Forever After timeline that bridges the gap between Battle Network and Star Force. Uh, that's, uh, that's all the, uh, information we- hold on. Unofficial timeline project started on September 1st, 2015 with the goal of bridging the 200 year gap. Okay, so that, that's how long it is. Wait, 200 years? No wonder there's- it's so, Ow! So, so, so aliens. Did you miss? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I summoned the totem. And then I threw a bomb, which erased the totem. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry that it happened to you. Got him. Is that a bug frag? No. Effort to put together a continuous, dynamic, multimedia fanfiction that builds the timeline. Watch it become, like, uh, Battle Network Mania. Can you, it includes the plots of Mega Man Battle Network Chrono X and Mega Man Battle Network Legacy. Chrono X? Good question. What is that? Oh, so Le Legacy's a fan fiction. I'm guessing Chrono X is another fan fiction. Then. Fan made fictional story within the Mega Man Battle Network universe that takes place in 1 AE. It's part of the. F its website can be found here. It has its we a website. Maybe. We'll, we'll see if it's still. 
Mega Man Battle Network Chrono X. Work in progress, fully fan-made 7th entry in the Mega Man Battle Network series. Oh, so it's a game. Yes. You can try out the demo. Guess what we're playing after 6. Yeah. Fountain! I'll have to download it uh, immediately so that uh, before, like, Capcom get, sticks their nose in. I don't think Capcom is a company that gives a shit. Isn't Mega Maker still up? Maybe. I don't know. Remember that time that somebody made a Sonic fan game and, uh... And he put, like, like a keylogger in it to make sure no nobody cheats in it? Did that happen? The only yeah, and then, uh... And then he said that the only way... To like get get off the blacklist on the server is uh, to like write an email to him, basically groveling. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. shit. That's fine. It was just oh you got I, rid of all. John the Wick style uh, style. <laughs> you got rid of all click. That's cool that they're. Thanks, mail. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna skip over the story since that's spoilers for. Wait, yeah. is I not here? Oh, just got it the fuck out of town. She's she's hovering in the atmosphere in her in her private rocket right now, wait the, until things uh, cool off. The merge and modify embodiment Navi transform operation or Memento is the new ability that allows Mega Man to harvest some of the powers and abilities of other Navis through the power of a special program. Interesting. I thought that was a thing in like four and on. There was like a Navi fusion instead of the style change. Maybe, but oh, so apparently there is a there's a Navi zero you can play as or zero maybe? was or... a thing in some Battle Network official game. That was the GameCube one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Do we do we have? Uh... Do we have what? Okay, I'm gonna look- I'm gonna see if this is on TV Tropes, because you usually break down, like, uh... Really big following fan fictions. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem like, uh, like it's there. Darn. <laughs> Wait. What do you, what I'm do you look, Okay, so I decided to look up more uh, Mega Man Battle Network fan fictions, and there is a apparently a a crossover between With? Mega Man Battle Network and The Land Before Time. Why? <laughs> How? <laughs> uh, brand new universe where where the Land Before Time world is the network. Prehistoric internet. Cool. Okay. Join our friends in a brand new world. He's trying to prevent an organiz evil organization from reviving an old project and taking over the network. Well, that's that's the only. Okay, I'm gonna check the series list because I'm just on the game list. Add that to uh, one of the strangest crossovers. Honestly, I was expecting you to say Battle Network and Harry Potter, which would be more believable. Battle Network and Harry Potter. I mean, yeah, that that would be. That's the only fan fiction li listed on the on the TV. Wow, uh, that's the only significant one, significant enough one for TV tropes. The rest are probably just boring. Uh, oh. Who the fuck? Being a fireman would be so boring. It's thankless work, but it's important work. No, we killed Fireman. He was in the first game. I like that apparently, uh... Oh, hold on. It's, uh... It's, it's an anime for some reason. 
Okay. I, I just remembered. Mega Man Battle Network it, it, it had it, his first spite. I don't know. Got it. We gotta get the boomers. Let me run. Or is it like a separate. It, okay, I remember now. I. Like a separate continuity? Yeah, yeah, it's. it's yeah, God. This archaic fucking. Alright. Mega Man! Alright, so, now that I'm here, I have to, uh... Find Universe World. Battle Network. Apply! What'd he say? Got all the Scilab ones. Are we done? Just beach left. Oh god. Mega Man in D Dimension Madness. The year is 20 XX and Monsteropolis is thriving. City is full of robotic and human life are e and human life are equal. What? <laughs> the city is full of robotic and human life are equal. They stand side by side. Okay. But there are ones who want to end this relationship between the two races. Dr. Albert Wiley, the evil scientist that wishes to conquer the world, has a new KNEW plan. Okay. To conquer the multiverse, to do this, he has created the ultimate robot, Portal Man. Of course. <laughs> okay, cool. Is this like a, a Portal series crossover, or just no, that just, happens to be his name? It's just. Ha oh, yeah, that's right. I was looking for crossovers. Give me a moment. Alright. Okay, so, uh... So the top one is Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, second highest is Naruto. Yeah. Then, going down, it's Ruby. Okay. Sailor Moon. Yeah. My Little Pony. Yeah. Digimon. Okay, that one makes sense. <laughs> okay. Transformers. Okay. Uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Harry Potter is at 14. What about Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh... That's that's only got nine. Uh, the the Code Lyoko is on here. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts, obviously. See, Code Lyoko, Battle Network, uh, Digimon. Those all kind of have similar themes going on. What about Dragon Ball Z? Less so. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's on there. Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Vocaloid. That makes sense. The Vocaloids have lore. Uh. No. Maybe. Uh, aside from Hatsune Miku being a spokesperson for Pizza Hut. Hi, Hatsune Mike. Uh... Mass Effect? How? Super Smash Brothers, obviously. Bleach. Okay. <laughs> Bleach? Okay, I got- this is- uh, this is too good to pass up. Soul Reaper Zero. Zero. Of course. Two. And that's with Battle Network, not with classic Mega Man. He died while defeating Wile, and now he's resurrected in the Bleach along with X and the Wait, four Wild. Guardians. <laughs> not not Vile, Wile. Wile. Wait, I think it's Wily. Okay. But just well, it could either it could either be a misspelling of Wily or it could be a misspelling of Vile. Yeah, this is a uh, this isn't uh, Battle Network stuff, actually. Because Vi Vile was Mega Man X. Actually, a lot of these crossovers make more sense when you consider it's taking all of the Mega Man continuity in question, not just Battle Network. So if we click on Code Lyoko... Oh, that's Star Force is the first one. Uh... Code Desperate. Lan and Mega Man f suddenly find themselves in a new unknown network. However, they soon become the prime target of a super certain super virus in that unknown network. Gee, I wonder who it is! Are we going to the digital factory now? Mega Man vs. EXE vs. Xana. So I, mean, I, I haven't played 4 through 6. Maybe we'll get to that. Is 
So we have access to the Undernet, by the way. Oh, we do. I guess we must have had it for a little while. I, I don't remember when we got the tally. I think we got it last stream, but... But yeah, we can just go to the Undernet whenever we want now. Just, uh, just one map left. So I have I have that uh, that uh, Kogliyoko Mega Man Battle Network uh, fanfic open. Okay. And so let's 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 imagine the implications of this fanfiction right now. This implies that uh, that Elect they're in the same world. That Netopia, Electopia, Yumland, and all that, and France, California, or California, France, whichever are, one, are in the same universe. Yes. And. Uh, this is the logical conclusion of our, uh, of our joshing about how, uh, Code Lyoko is just, uh, ghetto cyberpunk. I guess, He's yeah. gonna go there, he's like, what the fuck's wrong with your internet? It's so archaic. What, what are these speeds? This is like 2010 internet speeds. What the fuck is... The joke with Code Lyoko being the ghetto cyberpunk setting. Yeah. Of it's got, like, really futuristic technology, but it's in a poor area of the world that doesn't have any of the futuristic technology. <laughs> They've got a laser satellite. France has a weapon satellite. Did you know we had a weapon satellite? I don't know we had a weapon satellite. Which would make more sense for America than France. I don't think... I don't know why France would have a weapon satellite. Hey! Yay! Finally! Okay. First exciting thing happened in, in quite a while. Okay, so we're in the hospital. Is the hospital on fire as well? Uh, no. Are right, you gonna attack plus one? This is a little extra hidden area. Alright, so, uh. So this fanfic posits that Land, uh, hears Mega Man talking to him in his head. Okay. Because they're twins. Yes. Wait. Hold on. So Lan wakes up. He's not in in his bed, but he's in. This is the first paragraph of the fan fiction. He's he wakes up in Lyoko in the desert area. Oh, of course, Lan does. Not Mega Man. No. I've been virtualized. When did we cross fuse? I don't know, Lan. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a thing that happens in later games. Yeah. Do you have any idea where we are? Maybe some foreign network. So the final season of Code Lyoko ended up getting to a point where Xana was like, uh... He was creating a bunch of uh, duplicates of Lyoko. Yeah. In order to increase processing power. I don't remember yeah, the scheme was, exactly. He was uh, doing stuff in different parts of the world to... Uh, Here's a, here's a crossover idea. Code Lyoko X The Matrix. That would make Lyoko a virtual machine. We can run from these guys, but not a dinky little electric virus in ACDC. Hmm. Like, because, you know, it's too powerful. Well, you know, this level 5 Pikachu has a type advantage on your level 40 char uh, your Charizard. Oh, uh... And Lan is fighting William. Okay. okay. <laughs> I hope he wins. Fuck William. Strike for Xana. Got it. Finally. You've put out all the fires in the beach area. So now, now where do we go? We go. Oh, hey! I have to call you back. You've managed to put out all the fires. Flame Man's in Undernet Three. Oh my God! I've got something nice to show you. Check out Scilab. Well. The hidden camera is still functioning. It's it's heat proof. Looks like Pops is still breathing. He doesn't look so cold. 
G given the history of the previous games, maybe maybe it's okay I if he gets got. Oh, so uh, so William actually did get the upper hand, but Odd you know, arrived to save him, and Lance first thought was, "What the fuck is he wearing?" Yeah, as one would th looking at virtual Odd. I t whoever is, is like Franz Hopper made Lyoko, and he must have been just a massive anime fan. Because everyone gets virtualized and turns into an anime character. Yeah. A cat girl, or a, or a geisha, or a, a samurai in Ulrich's case. Guy with the giant cloud buster sword. I, I guess Aelita was like uh, like schoolgirl. She was a, she was an elf. Yeah. Okay. What did what did Jeremy transform into? Was he a monster. wizard? It was a ridiculous. He wore like a like a big like wizard hat. He doesn't robe. he doesn't like talking about it. Yeah. You gotta fight him in the fucking internet slums. Oh, this sure lo looks not confusing. Good old Undernet. What are the viruses like here? Fire and water. Did it. I used one for heals. Hello, Scruntu. There actually weren't very many uh, WWW doors. Now they keep a low profile. That's cool. I mean, comparatively, I guess. Yeah. Comparatively. That's how I feel. <laughs> About this chapter, I don't. This game has some fun combat, it, but I, you can have too much of it. I feel if you, especially if the game gets. Oh, you can walk on ice. That's right. I mean, we're past the shit. We're past the shitty part. We put out all the fires. Now we're in new territory. Yeah. Going to fight the bad guy. New territory, if not new enemy type. I like how this game predicted dark web, the dark web, just, or that the dark web would be a big thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, it turns out Lyoko crew doesn't trust Land and Mega Man. Oh. <laughs> what? How do we? How, what more proof do you need? He's not with Zan. I just want to make sure. Santa! Is that like the life virus? Oh, but Fee, that's new. Oh, he what? When Jeremy punched in the code, Land felt as if his structure was breaking apart. It was like being torn in half in slow motion, minus the blood and gore animations. He would have screened had he, had he possessed the strength. But that was the disadvantage of being devirtualized. Can you okay. scream? No, <laughs> that's unnecessarily brutal, guys. Does it hurt? Every time. This is fanfic. This fanfic is rated T for teens. They, they didn't seem to really mind it in Lyoko. It seemed alright. What sort of oh. protagonal antics is Land getting into today? Well, we just put out fires across the entirety of the internet. Yes! It's a, it, it's as boring as it sounded! So we're only just now getting into, you know, fairly new content for the stream. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. So. So when Land got devirtualized, also uh, Mega Man slash Hub got devirtualized. Okay. So now, now they're in the real world. Yes. They can They can meet for the first time. Yeah. Brother! The boy in the scanner had a strong resemblance to Land. 
except for the... He, okay, so Mega Man slash Hubs, uh... He also wore a sky blue t-shirt, navy colored... <laughs> what, what did he wear? <laughs> Jeans! G-E-N-E-S! Oh. -E oh, sorry, you don't Man, mean a lot. I've got your jeans. Yeah. 999.99% of them. I don't believe it. He's finally here after all that. What are you talking about? Collecting Triforce pieces, ba basically. Hub, is that you? Land, what's going on? Oh, that's sweet. So, Land realized that he can't tell them that Mega Man was his dead brother reborn as a net nappy. Obviously, because... that'd be weird. Lan and I are twins. Since our genes are similar, that would explain why we can merge. It wasn't established that Mega Man is his tin bro twin brother in the first game. It was. It was. Ja Jack is Jack is looking at fan fictions. Yes. And th this one is a is a Code Lyoko crossover. We were looking at cross, and apparently the the, uh, the only fan fiction listed on the TV tropes page is a uh, a crossover between this game and Land Before Time. You know the you Don Bluth dinosaur moot films. <laughs> That only was Don first, Bluth, wasn't it? Only the first one. Then they got kind of progressively more... Shitty? Yeah. It became, I had a, I had it became a, land, a series of musicals. I had a Land Before Time it. game on the PlayStation that I remember being odd because it didn't have lives. You could just try as many times as you wanted. Huh. Which, well, was that's, strange that's at the, which is strange at the time. Not, it's, it's kind of the norm now. Yeah. But back then in the PS1 era, I was like, what the, the hell is this? This, this? this is baby games. Well, it offsets uh, games becoming more difficult as is infinite lives. Is that, that's Imply, how I... Implying that games have become more difficult? Some of them are, like some platformers. Platformers are more difficult now than they were on the NES. Super Meat Boy. Yeah? Celeste. Uh... Oh, jeez. It's just it not not letting us do shit. It clearly, that's, uh... Fuck, it floats. <laughs> we all float down here in the undernet. I don't think the save and move method's gonna work this time, Jack. Because <laughs> they know, they fixed that. They knew what would happen. Hey, how'd you get on Leoko in the first place? I don't know. Oh, not enough. At least, uh oh. Where do you go? Uh oh. Oh, great. Uh, I, we beat Flashman, so I guess we get in here now. Oh, we access Black Bomb 2 S. All right, I'll take free stuff. I still get the song from Land Before Time 3 stuck in my head. I I don't barely remember Land Before Time. I don't. I'm not a big Land Before Time aficionado, so. God, I wish I could lay the bomb and then ignite it with the totem, but no, you can't be, place oh, two no. things. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought, okay, so... So, uh... So Jeremy forged, uh, documents for, uh, Land and Hub to, uh... to attend the uh, Kainic Academy. And, uh... You know, the two, uh, vaguely Japanese twins... Yeah. Uh, with Japanese last names. They decide, hey, you know where they're from? Miami, Florida! Of course. <laughs> but that's cool. Miami, I, Florida, Japan. Florida. And France, California. <laughs> Document foraging was no easy task. Oh. <laughs> they get to meet Jim. Remember when we found out that Jim was voiced by, uh, Big Green Goku? <laughs> Dad go well, kill father. Well, Chi Chi, as long as he does his karate lessons. 
Hey, do you know I used to be a voice actor? But I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> what a... He's better as Jim, yeah. I have to say. Although, <laughs> big, like, 50s, uh... Like, 50s father Goku. I wish, I wish there was more to do with that. If only we had a copy Goku. I guess they would have used the Ocean Goku then. Yeah. Who was the Ocean Goku? I don't know. Was it, it was I don't it, think it was it Sean. It Sean Schimmel. Was it? Is he just... He just voice Gokus across both versions? You know what? Let's go on to the internet. Oh, wait, it's burning. TV trope. No, it's not. We put out the fires. Oh, okay. That's good. That explains why my phone's no longer so high. Uh-oh, there was... Something happened. I just some, sensed something. Some kind of immense power. Immense spiritual pressure. I felt it somewhere before. Mega Man. Flame Man doesn't emit power like this. Oh, it's no, strong enough to penetrate my very core. Oh, whatever. No time to worry now. Oh, is that just cutscene for something else? Oh, hello. It's... It's that man. Yardovich. Okay. Uh, Plot Navi blocks our path that way. What does he say? Just... Hey, you're not getting through, see? Okay. Alright. Cool. Uh, they adopt a T-Rex in Land Before, before Time 2. So, there are actually three ocean voice actors credited. for Go uh, In the Just Z, not in Dragon Ball Classic. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z, Goku Adult. Uh, Ian James Cor Corlett, Peter Telemus, or Kirby Morrow. Kirby Morrow is Moroku. Who is Ian James Corlett? Look him up. Uh, Ian James Corlett. We've, we've heard him in things. Uh, Goku, Kui, and Master Roshi in Dragon Ball Z, the original Sabin Funimation dub. Before being played, replaced after one season uh, by... In, uh, things besides Z, uh, who's Ian James Corlett. He was, uh... Uh, he became the second voice for Bob in Reboot. He's Dr. Tofu in Ronma One Half. Is that the only other recognizable thing? Uh, Blarg in 2016 Ratchet and Clank. Uh... So, a giant hole just was... opened up in the internet. Oh, god damn it. Something weird. Me and... Original Mega Man cartoon, he was Mega Man, Rush, Metal Man, and Snake Man, among others. Uh, Hubert Test and Johnny Test. Uh, he's an ocean actor, so he's probably been bit roles in a lot of things, like MLP and such. Let's see. He was Sly Cooper in the unmade Sly Cooper movie. Okay. That's a shame that that... I think, he's, I think he sings in MLP. He voiced a whole lot of video game adaptations. Like, he was uh, in Captain in the Game Master as Dr. Wily. Yeah. He was in oh, Double I... Dragon as, as a character. That's a point of pride, He was, he was in the Battletoads pilot as Zitz. Hero 108 as a character. Man, if we had a... He we... was in Salem... He was Salem and Sabrina's Secrets of a Teenage... Okay. The cartoon uh, version? I think so, yeah. Transformers Robots in Disguise as a character. He was a... Adventures of... Ma Mowgli? Who? Mowgli? Ma From the Jungle Book. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was Mowgli. Firebrain and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, the demon. I took your daughter. Sc uh, Sherlock Holmes on Scooby-Doo and guess who? <laughs> Wait, okay. but he was long dead. And did they go back in time? Oh! Big characters in, uh... Okay, additional guest voices for uh, Beware the Batman, Dragon Tales, Gadget and the Gadgetinis, Gadget Boy and Heather, Home Movies, Justice okay. League, League of Super Evil, Loud House, uh, Sausage Party, and, uh, and, uh, and you're probably not gonna be surprised to hear this totally spies. Yeah. So he does, he just does bit rolls and everything. He just. He has been praised for remarkably quick assimilation to a new role. 
Even among experienced voice actors. He must have, like, a song in MLP or something, because I probably have his- I didn't recognize his name from somewhere very similar. Uh, who's the- who's the other Goku besides him and Kirby? Uh, Brandon something? Uh, Peter Kellamus, who doesn't have a, a TV Tropes uh, article, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna look him up. Uh, he's Australian. Uh, well, he was born in Australia, but he's actually he's a naturalized Canadian. Uh, he mostly does actual acting. Uh, he was in Eureka, Outer Limits, Stargate SG-1, Sliders, The Sentinel, NCIS, X-Files. Now what? Don't you feel it, Lan? Ever since we came into this area, there's that immense power, the earthquake... Like, oh! something's watching us. Oh! He was Rolf and Ed and Eddie. I like how now interesting stuff is happening and you're still on TV Tropes. Sorry. <laughs> or on, uh... You asked! I, I know. I, that's where I recognized him from. It was Rolf. Rolf. From uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie. We're being watched. Now's not the time to get spooked, though. Because I see uh, YouTube videos of uh, such and such, but uh, played by Peter Kalamis as Rolf. <laughs> they, they do those voice replacements. Oh, that's... I gotta look those up. Oh, is the internet on fire now? No, oh, it's, just, it's just ceremonial torches. We're doing it, finally. Prepare to battle! Finally came, boy. I will burn you. Then Mr. Match will be happy. Alright, boss battle. Do you remember those candle viruses? Is it back? It's, it's kind of like that. Darn. Only Unfortunately, you can't destroy his candles. You can only sit to put them out. Do you have to do it at the same time? Uh, no. They get different effects depending on the color of the flame. Oh. So the green can you throw was... the black bomb on the candle? I can. There you go. Oh, he took it out. The green wasn't invincibility, red one is healing. Up, left and up, or right and up. There you go. Your stand hit me. Aura, aura, the fuck, get back. Oh, you can put the pawn down. Yeah. Get a few hits that way. Oh. I'm not very accurate with this pawn, though. Eh, it's working. I'm getting hits off of him. If he gets in the front row, he's dead. Oh, Damn it! You mean he would have been if you know the invincibility? Got him. I'm sorry about your loss. Except not really. You're kind of a dick. Uh, uh, you won't fall yet. What oh, endurance! Th one of this this old trope. We won't be snuffed out so easily. But we won. Evasive maneuvers, but we won. I feel the power of the strong. We won, though. It's that pressure I've been sensing. Damn. Hello. You again? But you died. Let us battle. You who emits the power of the strong. Oh god. Gospel is, uh, is back. It's gonna be World 3 versus Gospel versus Scilab versus DeadSec. I don't remember what bass sounded like in the anime. Not as deep as I think he should have. I could, I could look up his voice actor. 
And then we'll. I, and then I don't we'll know guess. that I'd recognize him. Maybe. I hand. I I was a master at customization, and I was defeated. And he's gone just like that. What are you? I'll have to make a strategic retreat. Blazes. How can a Navi possess this much power? Gee, I wonder who he is. Oh, do we have to fight him? Ah, oh, we'll be fine. So is this... Is this one of those, like, unwinnable battles that lasts until... I think this is an unwinnable battle. Do we have to die, or can we just... I, I think we have to? I think he has a 200 aura, so... The only thing that might get through it would be the, uh, the bomb. But even then, we're not, we're not gonna win. I had much higher expectations. Must have made a miscalculation. At last I have found you, base! I'm- I'm Turbo Cop. Who are you? Does the Alpha Rebellion ring any bells? What? Alpha Rebellion? You're Re Silab! <laughs> There is still a human after me. Navi slave to humans. You cannot defeat me. In order to fight you, I of course did not come unprepared. Gather to me, power of darkness! Giga slave! Dark aura. You don an aura yourself, you must be aware. The defensive strength of this dark aura far surpasses the life aura. Oh, we were, we're combining all the previous games together in one. That's right, they, there's continuity. Aura of darkness, how impudent. You can't touch me, nah nah. I could survive even if the entire cyber world was annihilated. I like how they try to give this guy, like, as if he's got some personality, despite the fact that, you know, he's just another Navi. Oh, did it not hold- it held up! No, it didn't. Oof! Even wearing the aura, the impact was so powerful. You managed to withstand my earth break. You survived my next attack! Well, yes, because that's how auras work. They, they don't wear down. This is Wily. I have just gathered all four tetracords! Not that feeble-minded idiot again. I have matters to attend. Our confrontation shall have to be postponed. Hear me, operator. I will have my revenge on the human race. I will have my revenge. This power was far more than I had anticipated. If he'd hit me again. I never suspected Wily and Base would be consorting with each other. And he mentioned the Tetra Codes. He can't be planning on awakening Alpha. Thought this boy could face base, but the gap in their powers was far more than expected. Base. Wily. The fuck happened? I don't know. Mega Man! Wake up! So theoretically, could we- could we defeat him? I don't know. I- I, I don't know. It, I- I think in the final boss battle it's a 200 aura, so... It's so... Conceivably, So but it's arbitrary, got it. I don't know. We gotta get back to Scilab and war- Oh yeah, that's right, we're in Yai's place. Where's Yai? Is she here? This all happened- Land, keep it oh, down, I'm trying man. to sleep! I didn't see you come in. How's it- there, how's it Scilab is being attacked as well? Don't they have security? Land, you're supposed to be on top of this shit. Ah. We're, we're gonna call it after we finish this. Yeah. This cutscene. Yeah, this was a long stream. It was two and a half hours. I, it felt like four. <laughs> that was. It was not a very engaging part of the game. No. As Freeze Man wasn't. Dr. Akari, what are you doing here? 
I'm glad computer. you're okay, sir. Computer was damaged. I needed to inspect. You need to be inspected. We have we have that in this game. There's a hospital yep, map. Back we, at the hospital. We gotta use it. We gotta have a lot of people hospitalized to make use of the hospital map. Can't believe someone would attack Psylab. What an age! Imagine a terrorist attacking like the main government computer facility. This is it's all crazy. my fault. I thought I was so great being called a hero. You just wear sandals everywhere. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think I can come home tonight. Be sure to lock up. Things must be bad if she's reminding Lan about security. Oh, we can still use the emergency elevator. Why not? Where the heck we be? I'm checking out myself. No place is safe, so I might as well go home. somewhere. You. She she called us by name. She knew she knows us. Oh, what? What was that? Sprint oing? Sprint uh spin orange. Oh cool. So we have all the act we don't have any orange pieces. I think we have one, but oh. the any type that isn't part of our uh our current style, we need to enter a code or it'll give us a bug. Ah. Uh. My network game machine. The whole thing just melted. Land just like sad. Man. If only the Switch had a better cooling system. Good night, Land. Yeah. Good night, Moon. What's so good about it? We'll find out what the evil Dr. Wily is up to next time. Yes, we will. See you We're next time. We're done for the day. This yeah. was a little bit of a tedious chapter. <laughs> this is a lot of bit of a tedious chapter. No, it was engaging as a hospital chapter, I tell you what. No. So, uh, what do we have? We have, uh, I, I think there's, like, one more World 3 Navi to go through. So we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll start the ending of the game. We're getting into endgame stuff. Yep, hopefully. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.